Under tech series where we are going to learn that how we can quickly create our new ServiceNow portal with new UI builder. So in today's video, we are going to see that how quickly we can create a home page and we can add some of the stuff. So if you remember while we were creating this experience, so we added a landing page as a home, but still we have not uh, created that home page. So Milab, why don't you just talk about a little bit uh, about home page and then we can start on track on creating that. Yeah, so uh, if if you remember uh, when we created an experience, right? Uh, uh, at some point while we were configuring our uh, app config, we said uh, what would be the landing path of our entire app, right? So let's say if somebody says uh, our URL and then they say they put let's say now and then just put the uh, path of our experience where it should land, right? So that's that's basically we have given as given as home earlier. So now we don't have any anything as such yet, but this is what we are going to create now. So that will land it once it once you're logged in, it will land it to that page. Okay, great. So now what we are going to do is let's create that page quickly and let's see how we can uh, put more widgets and components there. So to create yeah. a page, what I need to do is I need to click on these three dots page options and click on create page. And here we can put the name of the page. Let's say capital home. And here I can select uh, our page template, but in our case, we are not going to see that. We are not going to use that, but obviously if you need to have any kind of a specific uh, a UI with service now provide as a part of a template, you can obviously choose anyone. I'll click yeah. on create. We still don't need any kind of page variant and parameters for this page. So I'm just selecting it as it is. Now we have our blank page. So in a blank page, what we need to do is we need to click on add component. And here I'm going to add a container. And inside that container, and probably on this container, let's write some CSS style. Okay. To make this container stylish, what I can do is let's add background color as blue. You can put light blue or something that looks better. <laughs> yeah, let, let's say it has a light blue and yeah. then some padding, let's say 50 px and others are zero. So let's have it something like this. Okay. Now let's select the main component as well because uh, it's still, it is uh, somewhat out. And in the main component as well, we will add some of the CSS. So let's say we don't need anything. So align is center and then justify content. And this is where we still don't get this uh, center one. So we will have it as here center and save. I learned it a very hard way that uh, if you do not save, sometimes it does not uh, Sometimes you navigate and it does not gives you a pop up that you have not saved it. Okay, so why don't we add something stylized text? And here, let's say. So, so, so basically what we are doing here is uh, we are uh, creating a simple uh, global search kind of widget in the uh, uh, in between of the header. I mean, I'm calling this as a banner, I would say. This mm -hmm. is a banner where we are saying, okay, search for let's say services and then we'll put some kind of search there. Let's say welcome to Panda Tech. And this yeah. is what I was talking about. So <laughs> let's save and continue. And still, I just need to change my home page. So here I'm giving a salutation and inside that, and let me change the style instead of it. Why don't we call it as spam? H, or maybe H2, no. H2. S2, S3, yeah, that's one sound yeah. better. And then what we are going to do is, we are going to put search one. And let's see, let's, let's do 
Which so it's a search input. Right now we'll just put the input because mm -hmm. we need the text box. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we will be seeing that uh, when we are doing most of the search configuration that how we can put it but here uh, we are here to help you i just want to put this placeholder i think this can you can you put some can you put some uh, width as well like just want to make sure like search is a little bigger maybe mm -hmm. some kind of width like some pixels okay let's say Maybe 500 600 yeah anything is fine mm -hmm. 20 are yeah, you yeah. no this would be smaller yeah because <laughs> uh, put like 600 uh uh 800 rem would be too much uh, 80? just put it uh, 600 uh, px should be good okay okay let's let's rock, rock and roll with px then yeah yeah for okay. now yeah <laughs> i know you hate it though yeah i know Yep, so let's try and see this page. How it is looking? Ah, it is looking good. Still, we don't have those header and uh, those logos, but in upcoming videos, we are going to see that how we can have uh, user option and logo. But for right now, it looks good. And our URL is would you, mind, would you mind going to the private window, log in and see if it is landing to the correct page? Yep, that's the next stuff that I'm going to do, and let's say dev 97 and now slash point attack login. Now after login, it should land on this page. Yep. Previously, it was showing us 404. Great. We have connected our home page as a connecting page as a landing page so that's it folks in this video in the next one we're gonna see that how quickly we can add header and footers